As Sioux Falls grows, the city is trying out new methods to control traffic. One of those examples can be found on 15th Street, not far from the Sanford Hospital. The city traffic department has installed a new type of barrier to slow down traffic. And as Kelloland's Tom Hansen found out, some residents aren't very excited about the city's idea. The area near 15th Street is a quaint Sioux Falls neighborhood. The problem is, for many commuters, 15th is a shortcut to work. For years, residents have complained about cars speeding through their neighborhood. So the city is trying something new. They're called chicanes. And the idea behind it is it's, we're simulating um, two parked cars close, parked close to each other on the road so that traffic has to basically slow down and negotiate around them, and especially if two cars are coming at the same time. The whole idea, the main focus, just is slowing down traffic. And they've done this in other cities successfully? Yep, um, there, there's a lot of installations of these in other cities all around the country, and um, it's something that we've been looking to try. Roxanne Strang has lived on 15th for 22 years. It gets really busy, especially during rush hour. We caught up with her during her garage sale. It didn't take long for us to figure out where she stands on the new traffic measures. I think it's ridiculous. I don't think it's, I don't think there's any reason for it. I just see a lot of accidents and so forth happening in the future. But don't you want people to slow down on your street? I do, but I don't think that's necessary. I see accidents happening when people can't see them, even though they're trying to avoid 12th Street. And I see, can foresee a lot of things happening in the winter. Now these chicanes will look a lot different when they're completed. They'll put stamped concrete on the inside. These orange cones will be gone, and then these white delineators will be installed. They'll be tall with reflectors so people can see them at night. The city says these first chicanes are a test, and they'll be monitoring the traffic to see if speeds are reduced. That may determine if they stay on 15th, and if other neighborhoods see them as well. Tom Hanson, Kelloland News. A couple of residents with whom we spoke said they would rather see speed bumps or stop signs in their neighborhood.